Hello there, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of eight books, host of two PBS specials, here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Specifically, how to use my life from the top of the mind philosophy to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. Today I want to talk about the concept of change and especially why we resist change. And for those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know I like to bring neuroscience into the understanding of how we do what we do because I really believe all of the things that we do, how we do it, why we do it, what we do, start with the brain. And the more we know about that and the more we can influence the process, the more influence we can have in our life and the lives of others. That's why I call my philosophy life from the top of the mind. Because I think this upper 80% of the brain, what I call the top of the mind, is the part of the brain that we want to be able to access as often as possible. Now, the challenge is this middle brain and lower brain, limbic system, brain stem, have a tendency to kind of jump in and take over, partly because they're trying to keep us safe. You know, for a long time, the mission on the, on, their, on the planet for these parts of the brain is to keep us alive as a species. So it has a tendency to interpret almost anything negative as dangerous and throws us into that part of the brain that's designed to deal with danger, and that's the lower brain. So how does this figure and how does this play with the concept of change? Well, there's a quote that I'm sending out to those uh, 6,000 folks on my quote list. By the way, if you would like to receive one of my favorite quotes each week, along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply that quote to life and a link to the this week's video, all you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the subscribe button, uh, put your name, email address in, and each week I'll send you one of my favorite quotes along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply it to life, as well as a link to this week's video. So this is a quote from Michael Levine. He says, sometimes we stay in hell a long time because we've learned the names of the streets. <laughs> I really like that. And when I mention this in one of my seminars, people are going, yeah, you know, that's true. It's become familiar. And here's what's going on. You know, the brain basically wants to survive. And its mission on the planet is to kind of keep us out of dangerous situations in order to survive. So what it does, it has a tendency to use that, is this dangerous or will this have anything to do with survival as a rationale for either routing it down to the lower brain or up to the top of the mind. Fortunately, we're not in survival situations as much as we were in the past. Unfortunately, the brain hasn't caught up with evolution. It still has a tendency to interpret almost anything negative as dangerous and throws us into that lower brain, which is designed to deal with danger, which is designed to help us survive. But if we want to do more than just survive, if we want to thrive, we've got to be able to get to the top of the mind. We've got to be able to get to the part of the brain where we make purposeful, conscious decisions. And the challenge is we've learned the names of the streets. In other words, survival has become familiar. Lack of change or doing the same things over and over has become familiar and we've survived it. And their brain goes, okay, well, if we survived it, it must be good. And it keeps us doing that. See, the brain doesn't like unfamiliar. The brain doesn't like change because it brings in the concept of something won't work. It doesn't know what's going on, that I don't know how to do this. And therefore, it resists that change. But what we don't want to do is trust this old survival brain to make a decision about whether we keep doing the things we're doing. You know, if we're in hell and we stay there because we've learned the names of the streets, you know, don't get down this street or when we go down this street, stay in the middle. Don't go to either side. You know, the whole idea of trying to live our life as a way of avoiding danger, which is what this lower brain wants us to do, is not going to help us thrive. So thriving is what we want. We want to be able to shift to the top of the mind. Um, this is what I do. I get to go around teaching people how the brain works and why we find ourselves kind of doing the same thing over and over, but expecting different results. You know, uh, that quote from Albert Einstein, another quote from Albert Einstein. I love that says problems cannot be solved at the same level of awareness that created them. So I like to go around the world kind of teaching people how to access this more aware, purposeful part of the brain. Um, here's a couple of questions you can always ask yourself whenever you find yourself reacting in a way that isn't serving you. Number one, would I teach or recommend this to someone I love? 
Am I really reacting this way on purpose? Is it really serving me? Is this how I want to be defined? These are what I call the four criteria. There are four questions and any one of them can help us get some clarity, raise our level of awareness of whether we want to keep doing the same thing or we want to change. So if we decide, okay, now I know I want to change, well, what do I want to change to? Well, what would I recommend to someone I love? If I were choosing more purposeful way of responding versus just reacting, what would that look like? Who am I at my best? You know, I encourage the people I work with to make a list of 20 qualities or characteristics of, of us at our best so that we know the qualities and characteristics we want to bring to life, the ones we want to trust, the ones we would recommend to someone we love. Obviously more to it than that, because life isn't that simple, right? So if you want me to come to your organization, your family, your church, your school, you as an individual, teach you how to access this clear, confident, creative part of who we are on a regular basis to the point where accessing this part of the brain becomes your new habit. All you got to do again is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, or just Google Bill Crawford PhD. I'll come up on the first page. Hit the contact button. Let me know what you're interested in. Love to talk with you about that. In the meantime, here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do, including whether we change, whether we keep doing the same thing over and over. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the future.